a dress code for parents? Let's discuss this on today's Tea Time with Jennifer. Welcome back to Tea Time with Jennifer. In today's video, we are going to discuss the story that went viral about the Texas principal who has instituted a dress code for the parents. So many of my readers emailed me this story. A lot of you shared it with me and I thought this is just right up my alley and I had to discuss it on Tea Time with Jennifer. So we're going to get into that today. Okay, so I have the article here and I will link it for you down below. It says, a Houston high school announced earlier this month that parents would need to conform to a dress code to be permitted to enter the school, a policy that has drawn media attention and scrutiny. The April 9th letter announcing the policy is linked on James Madison High School's homepage. It lists an array of clothing that parents are not permitted to wear inside the school or at school events. And I'm going to read the letter to you. It says, Dear Madison parents and all guests, to prepare our children and let them know daily the appropriate attire they are supposed to wear when entering a building, going somewhere, applying for a job, <laughs> or visiting someone outside of the home setting, I am going to enforce these guidelines on a daily basis at Madison High School. We are preparing our children for the future and it begins here. Therefore, and here is the list of what the parents are not permitted to wear. No one can enter the building or be on the school premises wearing a satin cap or bonnet on their head for any reason in the building. You also cannot wear a shower cap of any kind in the building. <laughs> Okay, I just have to pause here really quickly. Um, the, the first point was the one that I had contention with. The rest, everything else I agree with. Um, some people wear head coverings for religious purposes, so obviously you can't ban those. I don't think that that's what they're talking about here though. I think they're talking about something else. Hair rollers will not be permitted in the building. Pajamas of any kind will not be permitted in the building along with house shoes or any other attire that could possibly be pajamas, underwear, <laughs> or home setting wear, such as flannel pajamas, jeans that are torn from your buttocks, which is your behind, all the way down to showing lots of skin will not be permitted in the building or on the premises. Leggings that are showing your bottom and where your body is not covered from the front or the back, rear, will not be permitted in the building and on the premises. Very low cut tops or revealing tops that you can see your busts, breasts will not be permitted in the building or on the premises. Sagging pants, shorts, jeans will not be permitted in the building and on the premises. Men wearing undershirts will not be permitted in the building. Short shorts that are up to your behind will not be permitted on the premises and in the building. Daisy Dukes and low rider shorts. My computer just stalled. <laughs> Daisy Dukes and low rider shorts will not be permitted on the premises and in the building. Aren't those the same as short shorts? Dresses that are up to your behind will not be permitted on the premises or in the building or any attire that is totally unacceptable for the school setting. It says, please note that if you break our school rules and policies or do not follow one of these rules, you will not be permitted inside the school until you return appropriately dressed for the school setting. That's underlined and in bold. And then they write, parents, we do value you as a partner in your child's education. You are your child's first teacher. Amen. However, please know that we have to have standards. Most of all, we must have high standards. We are preparing your child for a prosperous future. We want them to know what is appropriate and what is not appropriate for any setting they may be in. This is a professional educational environment where we are teaching our children what is right and what is correct or not correct. We value you, but we must ask you to value and follow the rules of the school environment. This guideline will apply to any or all events that happen inside, outside of Madison's premises. Thank you for understanding and being a partner in your child's children's education. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask sincerely. And then the principal signed um, their name. Um, this is brilliant. <laughs> I, okay, clearly you know where I stand on this issue. Um, I just can't believe that it has gotten so bad that we have to state these things. I can't believe it, but I totally believe this, okay? I completely and totally believe this. Um, by the way, the principal's name is Carlotta Outley Brown. You know what, I applaud her and she has put herself out on a limb here. And in this modern culture where if you express an opinion that offends people, you know, you lose your job basically or get fired or just get completely roasted or the entire country will protest you. I applaud her 
for doing this because this probably wasn't easy to do. Now, am I for um, dress codes for parents? I'm not saying that yes or no, but what I am for is the fact that she is bringing attention to the fact that parents have lost the plot with how they are presenting themselves in front of their children. And, you know, maybe some of these parents who are coming to the school and all of those things that she has listed, maybe they don't do that when they go to their workplace or if they were to appear in court or if they were to, you know, go to a special event, yet they do that for their children and in front of other children. So a while back, I did a video called Parents Dress Up For Your Children, and I'll probably reshoot that video again this year. We can never have enough reminders, right? About how uh, it is important how we present ourselves in front of our children. Even if you are only seeing your children in a day, let's say you're not going anywhere, you're just home with your children. It's important how we present ourselves and like the frog in the boiling water that I have discussed, we have become too casual. Too casual, we have, we have lost our, our drive, our care with how we present ourselves. And it's just become widely acceptable to do the things that, um, you know, the principal has outlined here. And I'm telling you, this is all recent. This is new and it was not like this in the past. People, I don't care if you were rich, poor, what demographic you were, people took pride in their appearance and they would dress themselves appropriately. So, I always have to say this, you know I do, it's not about money, it's not about class, it's not about race, it's not about demographic, it's not about any of that. It is simply about self-respect and taking pride in your appearance and just looking appropriate for the occasion. And it's like, I say dressing up, but what I mean by that is not dressing up as in dressing formally. What I mean is just wearing clothes. <laughs> you know, we've gotten to the point where just wearing clothes is not happening, right? So um, I know that this, this, I don't know what the backlash is yet for this. I'm sure there's going to be so much backlash for this, but I am here on the internet to say that I applaud this teacher. Now, I don't agree with the first point about wearing caps or bonnets on the head because many people do that for religious reasons. Like I said, I don't, it sounds like she's not discussing that. I don't think that that's what she's, you know, requesting that people not do. I think there's just a whole other fashion or something. I don't understand that one. But everything else, the shower caps, the pajamas, showing, you know, basically wearing your underwear or a ba bathing suit or whatever to the school, it's not appropriate. Okay, our children are looking at us. They are watching us, they are observing us, and they are learning and they are soaking it all in like a sponge. What do we want for our children? We want our children to be well-adjusted, we want them to be well-mannered. We want them to be well-respected. We want them to get jobs that fulfill them and, um, you know, that take them places. We want them to be wonderful members of society, and we need to model that for them. Even if we have nowhere to go, even if we've got nothing to do except drop them off at school, we have got to be that model for them. I have this series about dignity in parenting that I've been doing, and we need to model dignity for our children because we want them to be dignified. Okay, so I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Now, this video might attract some people who are angry about this subject, and this subject angers people like nothing else. I think this, this one subject that I talk about on YouTube is the one that I get the most lack for the most people who get so upset about it okay <laughs> just look at any one of my videos for this um you know sometimes the comments are pretty positive but there are always people who get really really mad about this subject and about me talking about this and i just have to say to you if you're watching this and you are offended just know that you know this is a free country and we are entitled to our opinions you are entitled to yours I am entitled to mine. People get very upset about this topic. And so I would just say, 
for those of you who are so upset about it, just look inwardly and, and ask yourself, what is it that upsets me about this? Why am I so mad? You know, um, do you do some of the things that are on this list? That's what I always think when people get angry because they feel, you know, convicted or like I'm calling them out. Now, again, I am not the fashion police. And when I see people in life uh, that do these things, I'm not sitting there going, you know, and, and just like making a mental note. No, I just live my own life, but I do have this platform and I like to put this message out there that how we present ourselves matters. Okay, it does matter, especially to our kids. Let's step it up a little bit for them. Let's reclaim our dignity. Let's dress appropriately. Let's do it. Let's start this dialogue. I would love to hear from you on today's Tea Time with Jennifer. Please leave your comments down below and let me know what do you think about this list? What have you seen out there? Have you seen parents dressing inappropriately in front of their children? What is your experience? What are your thoughts? Let us know and your comment could be chosen as comment of the week. Thank you so much for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.